Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Uh, welcome back to another episode of Hate Line ABD. I'm your host, Fortnite Gamer. Okay, we got a busy, busy, busy episode. We're gonna have to speed run through a lot of these topics. Um, but I'm gonna start it off with Street League, which was an eventful weekend. Not afraid to slam again and again. 270 lit. Oh! Ooh. Watch out, bro. Watch 10 out. seconds, bro. A match made in heaven right there. Street League and Florida. Unfortunately, King Jaw didn't end up taking the W, but it was epic nonetheless. You may be aware that Karayuma sponsored the event. Looks like they outbid Nike. Either that or Nike is just slowly taking uh, its foot off the gas in, in the skate community. That seems to be the case a little bit lately there. Pulling some of the checks. Karayuma's happy to lap up all the free advertising space. Let's go down to Andrew Cannon, who's down there with Mike V. I'm down here with the man, the myth, the legend, Mike Valley. <laughs> Mike Valley. Oh. Talk about the progression here. We're at SLS. What do you think about this contest? Well, I'm blown away by the progression. This, all the skaters out here today are just uh, so amazing. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> What the fuck is a Karyuma skateboard legend? <laughs> Holy shit. The evolution of street skating just continues to blow me away. Sort of the natural evolution. The natural evolution of street skateboarding, as in people no longer doing handstands. Yes! Yes! People are literally standing on the rafters! This is the best! It's truly unreal. Yeah. You got things going with Karyuma now. You got a brand new pro shoe coming out. Talk us through this shoe. Well, I have it right here. Oh! oh, shit. Really stoked about this, man. It's, uh, I feel like we've really come up with a great shoe. Lots of, uh, lots of unique things going on here. We have a, a vegan suede that, uh, that's proprietary to Karayuma, and they've been developing that for a year and a half, and it's two and a half times more resistant than animal suede, and that makes the shoe much more durable and much more sustainable. Yeah, you know, the unfortunate part about this is I think that Karayuma, in theory, is a cool idea for a company, like a sustainable skateboarding shoe. The only problem is uh, with the way that their shoes look and the way that they've marketed themselves, like, especially the design of the shoes, like, I would rather the earth explode than to actually have to wear the yeah, it's like a polyester webbing, three times more resistant than canvas. And ten times more resistant to getting bitches. Oh my God! Oh! <laughs> Overall, I mean, aesthetically, I really went for a, 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 a modern, a modern profile, you know? I don't know if this really says modern to me. You know, it kind of reminds me of those shoes that DC was making back when they had the super team like a decade ago with like Nija, Mike Mo, Chris Cole, all those dudes. Like when people are still like really into testing out gimmicks and shit, putting a rubber toe cap over the top of the shoe. I think like techie details like this, nobody wants this bullshit in my opinion. Like we've tried it, we know all this shit doesn't really make a difference. And if it does make any marginal difference, it's not worth how whack it looks. Like I would not want to skate shoes with this weird like rubber thing across it. It's one thing if it's like a toe cap and then it's like, it's kind of cool. Like it looks like a Jack Purcell or something, but this is just like aesthetically dumb. Like shoes that look like they're over engineered for skateboarding are not fucking cool. There's a reason that Converse have been skated for like a million thousand years. They look simple. They look so good that people are still willing to risk landing Primo in them. These just look stupid. The one thing I will give them credit for is they made the logo slightly smaller, but you know, the rest of the shoe looks bad. One of the major things that I think Karyuma is doing wrong is this fucking diagonal outsole rubber thing. It just looks so fucked. Like, I think there's a reason nobody else that I'm aware of is is doing this. The view looking down is uh, aesthetically supposed to look like a basketball shoe because that's the kind of shoes I wore when I was coming up in the 80s. Awesome, well thanks so much, Mike. We sincerely appreciate you being here. Oh, here we go. Wow. Thank you, Mike. Very cool. Thanks so much, Mike. This one's kind of edgy. A blue color? Yeah, I don't know. I kind of want some. 
Speaking of shoes, Karyuma should have taken a leaf out of Nike's book with the new Ashads. They just fucking took the logo off the side, which I actually think these look pretty sick. So these are the new Ashad Pro shoes that I'll probably get sued for showing you guys. This is how you do a pro shoe, baby. Like it's got some fucking personality. And the cool thing, you know, that I like about these that I think is kind of like a lost on a lot of pro shoes these days. Like as much as I love Louis Lopez and like, I think the shoes are like, okay looking. I think if you're gonna make a pro shoe, you might as well make it with some fucking personality. Like I have this the same issue with the Shane O'Neal's is like, yeah, they're like, okay looking shoes, but it's obvious that Shane O'Neill just liked skating Janowski's, so they just made the Janowski too. And it's like, these look hardly different than the original Karyumas, they just added some extra horse shit on top of them and came out with a blue color. This is cool. I think this is like the way you should do a pro shoe. Don't give a pro skater a shoe if they don't really know what the fuck they wanna do. It looks like a shot actually had some idea. I think it's high time he got a shoe too, so this is sick. Anyway, Jagger ended up coming away with the dub the Street League Super Crown win. Dude, that's a fatty purse right there. 250 racks. Jeez Louise. Congratulations, Jagger. On the skateboard, I think Jagger's, personally, I, he's not really my cup of tea. I think he's a little bit boring. Like I've never seen anybody make a switch back nose blunt look so fucking dismal. <laughs> What I do like about Jagger is I think that he is the king of nonverbal communication. The crowd finish was third so far in 2019, and then Jagger Eaton. He got wild carded in here this year. It's like he's a video game character, and you have like an emote button, and whoever's been playing the game has like been eating some sticky candy, and the emote button is just stuck, and Jagger can't stop fucking emoting. I, I would say these uh these hand signals are worth a quarter million dollars themselves. Fuck the skateboarding. And then Jagger. So you can see Jagger started off on the podium here, but he had to jump off and grab his heart supply yeah, signature that, board here for the photo ops. Just make sure everybody can see the graphic available in Target, by the way. Guys, we are completely stoked. We went into Target today. We found Heart Supply skateboards on sale for $17.99. They're regular $59.99. And my son's friend broke his skateboard yesterday, so. Not the one Jagger is skating, though. Uh, that one, that one is not the same one that they have in Target. But you might notice something about this image here. For a second, I thought maybe there was a problem with my glasses. <gasps> Put them on again. Bruh. Let me get my other pair. Okay, these are brand new. This is real, there's no mistake. Everybody is wearing a Karayuma shirt and a Red Bull hat. She's wearing an outfit from H&M. She just looks so basic, that's her only problem. She looks like every other bitch. Karayuma really got their, their money's worth on this sponsorship here. I gotta give them credit for that. I know Steve Bear was in the crowd just fucking <clears throat> Tiger Woods fist bumping this entire time. Let's fucking go, baby. That podium is ours. Woo! But yeah, I mean, listen, here's another thing with like, with Karyuma is like this whole like corporate contesty thing that they're going with. Can we at least get, if you guys are gonna fucking be here, you're gonna keep pouring money on skateboarding until we all fucking drown. Ugh, please, no more money. At least, can we get some fucking t-shirt designs or some shit? I mean, this, these suck. And everybody wears these that you guys sponsor. It's either the black one or the white one. And it's just the inverse of the other one. Soulless Corporation vibes. Karyuma shirt, Red Bull hat. At least, you know, if you ride for Red Bull, you get to choose if you want a pink, maroon, or a white one. I think I'd go with a pink one. I kind of fuck with uh, Gustavo Ribeiro's fit here. I like those shoes. So it turns out the 250 bands that Jagger won for his Street League first place, congratulations on that one again, by the way, Jagger, uh, wasn't quite enough money, and he's now dropped an NFT. Holy shit, you guys, uh, I was streaming when somebody told me about this. I, I thought I was being trolled. How about that Jagger NFT? Don't even joke with me, if that's real. You DM'd it to me, you liar. There's no way there's a, no way. There's, this can't be real. You have to be fucking with me. What is this? Holy fuck, you work- Oh my god! Oh. My. Fucking god. He must be a fan of the show. Whoa. 
Wow, it looks just like him. This is the Jagger Eaton Mullet 3D sculpture. I'm gonna come. This is for sale, by the way. Starting bid, 12 racks, $12,000, or you can do what I do. Okay, that's mine now. Got it for free. But hey, you know, if you want to have it legit, if you want to have it on the blockchain, it can be yours. Um, the market is extremely competitive. No bids yet. <clears throat> if you're kind of curious about what the design is here, Jagger Eaton's signature haircut, it's bronze because Jagger got the bronze medal at the Olympics. Deep artistic vision behind this that makes this worthy of $12,000 or 2.71560 Ethereum. There's also this one, of course, you know, personally, I thought this one was a little bit cooler. Skates just like Jagger. It's got the heart supply board and everything. I don't even know what to say anymore. Like they're just so obviously fucking stupid. Like if you would spend $2,000 for a GIF of a Jagger Eaton mullet grinding and sliding through some like vapor wave-esque skate park like this aesthetic isn't even popular anymore i just don't understand it like it would be one thing if nft art was like kind of cool like the most famous nft dude beeple actually makes some kind of cool looking shit i like respect it but everybody's just riding on his coattails creating absolute fucking garbage and i i have such a hard time believing that Jagger Eaton, who is a human golden retriever, would look at this and be like, oh yeah, that's dope. He'd be like, oh, I don't know what the fuck that is, but it's you're gonna pay me $8,000 for it? Oh, okay, dope, I'll do it. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's enough. Check these out. What you're looking at here, we've been covering uh, some bogus skate products lately. Actually, that's not fair. I don't think the curb cover was bogus. It's just not for me. Um, this one I'm going to say is complete horseshit. Best way to train manuals is with Wheel Pro. Guess what? Everyone is struggling with nose manuals and that's why we invented Wheel Pro, the first manual trainer for skateboarding. The new and improved version is coming back to stock very soon. So the concept for this is that I guess it lets you sit on three wheels or if you lean too far, then it puts the third wheel down, so it turns your manual into a tricycle. <laughs> I mean, this is just fucking beyond dumb. Like, I can't, I'm sorry for being a massive hater. Actually, no, I'm not. What is, like, this is, this <laughs> society is crumbling. Why would you need a product to help you learn how to manual? It's like, okay, fine. If you want to fucking learn how to skate stairs and you want to go to Woodward and experiment with a, on the handrail and do the handrail into the foam pit, fine, you could eat shit trying a new trick on a handrail, like, I understand it, even though it's like kind of anti the spirit of skateboarding, which is like, sometimes you eat shit and that's just how it goes, but like, fine, whatever, I would probably want to try to do a early grab backflip into a foam pit, that sounds fun, I wouldn't want to fucking try that onto concrete, but a manual, why would you need assistance with a manual? And this is just completely counterintuitive to the entire point of a manual, which is going on two wheels. Like this guy says, just fucking practice it. It's not dangerous. It's like the most safe thing that you could possibly practice. It's a game changer. At least when I was younger, I definitely needed one of these. We used to try to manual the blocks on the sidewalk. You mean like what everybody else does and how everybody learned to manual just by fucking practicing it? Ooh. This is butter, bro. I used to have to work on my balance in the grass. This dude manualed in the grass? Uh, I don't fucking think so. Hey guys, it's me. I'm a Skate Bites NFT. No, it's cool. Feel free to screenshot. <laughs> Here's something crazy. Paxson is selling Supreme. Bruh, uh, bruh. Okay. I was very confused by this because, of course, Supreme is like, oh, we're so fucking sick, baby. Squilliam Strobeck does our videos. You can only buy our shit at our store. You either got to have a robot on your computer to buy it online, or you're going to have to sit outside the store and wait in line uh, like the pathetic human being that you are. 
And I was like, this is fucking weird. There's no way that Supreme would collab with PacSun. I think that PacSun is just reselling this. It says $260. If you look at the same shirt, like on StockX or something, they're going for like 160, 150, uh, $180. So PacSun is just reselling these shirts, I think, at a crazy ass price. I'm not really sure what the deal is. Maybe because it's brand new, they're worth more, but I guess PacSun is getting in on the reselling shit. I have a lot of questions about this, but the one question that is being answered, where Jagger gets his Supreme underwear. All right, now we got this uh, this Fred Gall situation. Pretty weird. We've been covering, you know, cash app scams and things on the channel for a couple weeks now. Fred Gall seems to be the latest victim of Instagram hacks and stuff. This one, though, is a lot muddier than the last couple that we've been covering, where recently it looked very obvious that it was a deep fake and uh, the person had just had their account stolen. This one is very weird. Uh, I'll just play the video. I just invested in first option trade form. And for real, these people are legit. Um, if you need more information, just DM me and I'll help you through it. The reason that this one is so confusing is because the other ones, you know, there were filters, the mouth was moving animatronically, the eyes were blinking at weird times. This one looks like Fred Gall recorded it. I mean, it sounds just like him. It's not like he doesn't have a distinct voice. That's Fred Gall. I know what he looks like. It's got Fred Gall's teeth. It looks like Fred Gall. It talks like Fred Gall. It might be Fred Gall. So... If this is a deep fake, I would be very surprised. To me, this just looks like Fred Gall recorded it. I'm not an expert. I'm not some cybersecurity mastermind. I'm just a dipshit who talks about skateboarding on YouTube. So I really don't know for certain. I'm not gonna pretend like I do. It's just my opinion um, based off of everything that I've seen. If this is a deep fake, this is a remarkable deep fake. So if you're like a celebrity, you've got thousands and thousands of videos from you where your words can be compounded uh, into sentences. And even then you can kind of tell like something's off about it. Fred Gall is famous within the little niche area of skateboarding people that like skateboard stuff and there's not that many videos of of him talking uh it's not like he was you know a obama and you know he was the president and there's obama deep fakes that are like okay so here's my theory is that fred gall was approached by these people to do an ad and i'm guessing he recorded the ad for them and they probably knew we can already get into this guy's account and we're gonna say we'll pay you for recording this ad once he recorded the ad and he sent it to them then they just took over his account that's what i am guessing happened i don't work for the fbi i don't work for the cyber police i don't know that's just my guess because this video looks real i would hope that all of you can exercise your best judgment and use your critical thinking skills and not believe that if somebody is offering to take your money and multiply it and then send it back for you, that they're doing that in good faith. Why the fuck would they do that? If I was capable of just sitting on my ass and multiplying money, why would I need anybody else's money? So don't for one second believe in the idea that anybody has your best interests at heart and is going to be like, oh, hey, you know what? I'm just gonna take your $10,000 and turn it into $50,000 just because I'm a nice guy. No, it's not gonna happen. On no planet does that exist. Anybody who's offering to do that for you is scamming you. Don't do it. Um, last thing, let's just do it, guys. I know you guys want it bad. What do you mean by that? Uh, Nigel's been going ham. I think he's celebrating 5 million followers. I saw this and I was like, okay, this is good. Uh, this is good shit, Nigel. This is exactly what I want from you. He seems to be unaware of what his face looks like. Damn, this is that one's pretty hard. I'm not even gonna front. This one's sick. This one, not so sick. This one is no good. This one's not cutting it for me, Nigel. You look like you're wearing some kind of fucked up Mikey Alfred outfit. 
and God knows Mikey Alfred cannot dress for shit. It's too fucking big, man. This looks like your great grandpa's golfing outfit. I know you're getting a little thicker lately, Nigel, but not this thick, man. This thing does not fit you, my friend. Um, and why would you ever want to wear this with nothing underneath it? Yeah, it really like complements your tattoos nicely. Oh my fucking blue steel, baby. And that's not the worst of it, believe it or not. Uh, or the best of it, I guess, really, as far as I'm concerned, the best of it. <sighs> so, this is the fit of the year. Uh, it has to be. There's no doubt in my mind that this is Nigel's finest work. Looks like we've got a little bit of a, a mesh thing, fishnet vest going on down there. <laughs> An oversized blazer and these fucking boots of pain, man. And the, the disorder hat, He this thing is fucking glued to his head, man. It doesn't matter how psycho his outfit is, he always has to have the disorder hat uh, on top. I mean, this is just, there's no genre that this even fits in. Nyjah is creating his own lane in the fashion industry, baby. I know that I talk about Nyjah a lot, and it's because he keeps outdoing himself. Like, every single fucking week, Nyjah outdoes himself. And this is by far the sexiest Nyjah outfit yet. Like, it is. There's no... He has been bold, but he has not been fucking fishnet vest bold. If we don't top out this week, if this isn't the peak of the Nyjah fashion cycle, then I don't know what is, dude. I shudder to think what the next week holds because if it's crazier than this, I just don't know what to fucking say, man. This has got to be, this has to be it. This, I pray to God that this is it. You know, if Nyjah really wanted to uh, throw a fit out there, I have a recommendation because I think Nyjah clearly does not have a stylist and I'm a versatile guy. I have all sorts of skills. Styling celebrities is just one of them. I know Nyja fucks with crypto. I have sourced this outfit for you, Nyja, and I think that perhaps for David Lloyd's next birthday party uh, or for your next red carpet event. What do you think? Let me know. Um, I'm accepting Ethereum. Okay, guys, uh, I think that's it. Jesus Christ. Uh, that's plenty of hate line for, for one day. I'll see you guys next episode. You shut up. That's why your shoes raggedy. That's why your mama did.